One day, my mom bought two chocolates from the market. Now, I was very happy to see that. I was thinking in what ways I could eat these chocolates. Now, I could eat the dairy milk first and keep the Kit Kat for later. Or, I could eat the Kit Kat first and keep the dairy milk for later. Or, in my excitement, I could eat both the chocolates and keep none for later. Or, keep both of them in the fridge and eat nothing now. So, you can see that if these two chocolates are a set P, these are the subsets of the set P. The ways in which I can eat the chocolates. I can eat one, I can eat the second one, or I can eat both, or I can eat none. So, these are the four subsets of the set P. Now, after some time, my mother decreased my happiness. She said that I have to give at least one chocolate to my little sister. So, again I started thinking in what ways I can eat the chocolates. Now, I can eat the dairy milk and keep the Kit Kat for her. Or I can keep eat the Kit Kat and keep the dairy milk for her. Or I can eat nothing and give both of them to her. But this time, I don't have the option of eating both as I have to give at least one chocolate to my sister. So, here we can see that we get new subsets of the set P. Now, you can see that if this is the set P of two chocolates, the new subset, that is, when I have to give one chocolate to my sister, what are the ways I am getting to eat the chocolate? Either the dairy milk or the Kit Kat or none. Here I am not getting the option of eating both. So, these will be the proper subsets of the set P. Yes, we have a special name given to these kind of subsets. Now, what about these subsets? These subsets do not include the original one, that is the original set. So, here I can see, I cannot eat both the chocolates. I can eat only one, the second one or the empty set, that is none of them. So, these are the proper subsets of the set P. What are the two things we check to see whether a set is a proper subset or not? First thing, it should be a subset of B, that is, if A is a set and it wants to be denoted as a proper subset of B, it should be the subset of B. And the second thing is, it should not be equal to B, that is, the proper subset should not be equal to the main set. Then A will be the proper subset of B. How is it denoted in sets? If we want to write that A is the proper subset of B, then we will give the symbol this. Without the underline that we give in subsets. So, what, what is the symbol of subsets? This is the symbol of subset. And what is the symbol of proper subsets? We do not write this line and we just write this symbol. Now, what is the difference between subsets and proper subsets? Now, every set is a subset of itself. We have learned this in the previous lecture, that every set will be a subset of itself. Now, what about proper subset? Every set is not a proper subset of itself. Now, whenever we will write proper subsets, we will not write the set itself. Like, what do we do in subsets? Whenever we list the subsets, we write the set also in subsets, but when we will write proper subsets, we will not write the set itself, as the set itself will never be its proper subset. Now, a subset can be equal to the superset. That is the same thing, only the language is different, that a subset will, can be equal to the main set, but a proper subset is never equal to the superset. That is, if this is a proper subset, it will not be equal to the main set. Now, B is a set with these numbers and A is a set with these numbers. Can you tell me whether A is a proper subset of B? Try it out. Now, we know that a set to be a proper subset, it needs to fulfill two conditions. The first condition is, it should be a subset of B. Well, let's check is A the subset of B. 
to be a subset every element of a should be there in b so let's check whether each element of a is there in b 3 present 5 it is also present 7 9 11 so we can see that each element of a belongs to b as well so a is a subset of b this condition is fulfilled now we'll check the second condition what is the second condition that a should not be equal to b for a set to be a proper subset it cannot be equal to the main set so let's see is a equal to b here well all the elements of a are there in b but all the elements of b are not there in a so both these sets are not equal so this condition is also fulfilled so we can say that a is a subset of b and a is not equal to b it is a subset but it is not equal to b so it is a proper subset so how will we write it we will write it as a is the subset of b now do it yourself a is a set of numbers 3 5 7 9 11 while b is a set of x where x is odd number and x is between 2 and 12 tell me whether b is a subset of a here now first of all let us write down the answers in roster form so that we can see it in a better way here a is 3 5 7 9 and 11 now what about b it is an odd number and it is between 2 and 12 so what are the odd numbers between 2 and 12 3 5 7 9 11 these are the odd numbers now we have to check whether b is a proper subset of a for that what do we do we check the first condition is b the subset of a check 3 is present in a and b both 5 is also present 7 is also present 9 and 11 are also present so each element of b is present in a so b is the subset of a now what do we have to check is b not equal to a check well you can see clearly that all the elements of b are present in a now check for a well all the elements of a are also present in b so i can see that a and b are equal sets so we can see that a is equal to b here so is this condition fulfilled well no because a is equal to b so this condition is not fulfilled so we can see that b is a subset of a but here b is equal to a so we can say that this is a subset of a but b is not a proper subset of a we will write it as b is not a proper subset of a we strike out the proper subset symbol to get the symbol of not a proper subset now a is a set with the numbers 1 2 and 3 can you find out the number of subsets of a list the subsets of a now well these are the subsets of a the empty bracket only number 1 only number 2 only number 3 1 and 2 1 and 3 2 and 3 and the set itself now what about proper subsets of a can you list them down well you know that proper subsets are also subsets of a but it does not include the set itself so what will be the difference here we'll get the empty set as a proper subset 1 2 3 1 and 2 1 and 3 2 and 3 but will we write the set itself no this is the condition we put in proper subsets they do not contain the set so these will be the proper subsets of a 
So what did you notice? Number of proper subsets is will be equal to number of subsets minus 1. What is minus 1 here? The set itself. So there is only one difference between subsets and proper subsets. So we come with the formula number of proper subsets will be equal to number of subsets minus 1. So if A has n number of elements, then what are the number of subsets? You have learned this in the previous lecture that if a set has n number of elements, then the number of subsets are 2 to the power n. So now can you derive the formula for number of proper subsets from this? Now we know that number of proper subsets is equal to number of subsets minus 1. So here number of subsets is 2 to the power n. And what do we have to add with this? Minus 1. So we can derive the formula of number of proper subsets by using subsets. Now, B is a set with the elements red, blue and green. Can you find the number of proper subsets for me here? Well, let's do it together. What are the number of elements here? 1, 2, 3. So we can write number of elements is 3. Now what are the number of subsets? Well, that's easy. We know that number of subsets is equal to 2 to the power n. So what will we get here? 2 to the power 3. So solve it. 2 into 2 into 2. It will give us 8. Now what about number of proper subsets? Now we know we have already derived the formula of proper subsets. That is 2 to the power n minus 1. Which will give us 2 to the power 3 minus 1 here. Or we can write it as 8 minus 1 which is 7. Now if you already know the number of subsets here, you could do it directly also. You could just write 8 minus 1 which would give you 7. Now do this yourself. Well the number of elements here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we write the number of elements as 4. What are the number of subsets here? The number of subsets is 2 to the power n. That is 2 to the power 4. So what will we do? We will multiply 2 with itself 4 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 which will give us 16. Now we know that number of proper subsets is number of subsets minus 1. So what will be the formula? 2 to the power n that is number of subsets minus 1. So solve it. 2 to the power n is 2 to the power 4. We use the number of elements here. Minus 1. This will give you 16 minus 1 or 15. So we can see that, that for this set we will get 16 subsets and 15 proper subsets. Now what is 16 minus 15 year 1 and what is that 1 year? The set itself. Now tell me this. Select the proper subset of the set A. Do it yourself. Now, first of all, let's recall what are the conditions for a set to be a proper subset. Now, for a set to be a proper subset, we know that it should be a subset of A, first of all. And the second thing, it should not be equal to A. That is, it should not be equal to the main set. Now, let's check the options. Now, the first option here is 11, 55 and 66. That is the set itself. So for a set to be a proper subset, it cannot be equal to the main set. So this option is not valid. Now the second one, only number 6. Now can you see the 6? Can you see the number 6 in this set? No? So this set and this set is not connected at all. It has no link to do with it. It is not even the subset of A. So how can it be the proper subset of A? So this option is also not valid. Now let's check this, 5 and 66. 
is this the subset of A? Well, see, there is a confusion here. This is only number 5. But we have the number 55 here. So, this is completely a different set. It has nothing to do with the subset of A. Now, what about 66? Well, you can see that 66 is a subset of A as 66 is present here. Now, is this set equal to this set? No, this is a subset of A as this contains the same element here. But, does the set A here is equal to this set? No, all the elements of this set are not present in this set. So, that is why we can say that it is a subset as well as not equal to the main set. So, this is a proper subset of the main set.